Hello sa mga tagapakinig natin dyan sa lahat ng mga Facebook friends ko mga sumusubaybay sa aking uh, audio live uh, with stock mentor ni Usapang Trader So ngayon guys, uh, it's a very good weekend At ngayon ay, uh, ang matutunghayan nyo ngayon ay yung isa kong uh, live uh, recording session uh, with my another student And I'm going to do it uh, via live uh, with my laptop And uh, yung napapakinggan nyo ngayon ay uh, galing sa aking uh, cellphone So mapapakinggan nyo ngayon yung mga explanation ko about trading, mga techniques ko Although hindi nyo makikita dito yung, uh, yung uh, screen, yung video But for those who want to avail the video recording for this session Uh, ay uh, mangyari po ay mag uh, message lang kayo sa akin kasi in this uh, session I will be uh, explaining uh, a very important uh, technique uh, of mine when I'm doing momentum trading so ayan po uh, we will be starting soon and uh, uh, pakicomment na lang uh, kung uh, saan kayo nanonood uh, at uh, para naman ay mabati ko kayo dyan alright so Ayun, so ngayon ay uh, sa setup ko lang dito yung ano ko, laptop. Alam nyo guys, uh, actually I'm here in my car. Sasakyan ko kasi uh, natutulog yung anak ko at ayaw kong madisturbo sa loob na habang naglalive ako session ako dito ay baka magising sa uh, mahimbing na pagkakatulog yung anak ko, baby. So ayan, uh, may mga kababayan na tayong nagjo-join. Uh, nakikinig so ituro nyo lang tong uh, ano parang FM station na napapakinggan nyo yung uh, uh, stock mentor nyo at uh, salamat na rin sa mga sumusubaybay palagi sa aking paglalive at uh, naway may makuha kayong uh, magandang uh, lesson sa ano sa session na to alright so again so mga ngayon pa lang na nagjo-join ay uh, I will be uh, going live and uh, I'm recording here a session which is all about momentum trading although you cannot see my screen here uh, for those who would like to avail the full recorded uh, session together with the video I mag message lang kayo sa akin alright so ayan uh, kindly give me a few minutes just to set up my laptop para masimulan ko na yung recording ko about, about uh, for today's Uh, session right so uh, sit back and enjoy ya eh? and then uh, naway may matutunan din kayo sa pakikinig ngayon ay uh, siniset up ko lang yung laptop ko at uh, gusto kong masiguro na the full screen of my laptop is uh, being uh, recorded well kasi minsan uh, may mga pagkakataon na nagre-record ako pero yung video ano na crop na crop siya so ayan binabati ko si Willie Josephine and Joy uh, right now they are listening so, hello Joy uh, pakicomment na lang uh, kung galing kayo saan or saan kayo na nakikinig I hope uh, you are doing well over there at uh, give me some uh, moments kasi medyo Uh, hindi nagre-respond itong application ko yung uh, itong si screen recorder up so while uh, nagsasitab ako dito ay uh, just some uh, introductory about me so I am uh, Arnil Pakula you can call me Neil or Sir Neil whatever you want stock mentor Neil So I am basically a professional uh, engineer and a professional teacher and I'm doing uh, really uh, part-time trading investing in the Philippine market and the US stock market. So paano ko nagagawa yon? Uh, I have a full-time job and I can still trade. It's just all about guys uh, with the time management the time uh, so we, we just really need to to manage it well. Although it's not so easy, 
the, to mix the two things to to trade and to have a work kasi minsan sa work <laughs> mismo ay uh, nagche-check din ako nag-analyze ng stock while I'm I am still at work pero paminsan-minsan lang uh, mas maganda na rin yan kaysa sa magpi-Facebook lang di ba Kasi itong uh, pag-check or analyze ng stock, at least mayroon tayong benefits na makukuha. Kaysa sa mag-browse lang at mag-chat-chat-chat. But uh, of course, I'm always responsible with my work na, na deliver ko yung result na expected from me. Alright, so ngayon ay uh, nandito na yung screen recorder ko. At uh, double check ko muna. Na... Uh, Nare-record niya lahat. Okay, so I'm recording here from my laptop. And, uh, okay. Okay, medyo... Okay, so ayan na. Uh, <laughs> that case, I need to restart my laptop kasi hindi talaga nag-respond. Alright, so... Well, uh, you are. While well, I'm still doing my restarting of the laptop, I uh, I want to talk about uh, encouragement sa mga newbies, at mga nag-aaral pa lang sa stock market. Ang advice ko para para maging uh, effective yung pag-aaral nyo ay uh, firstly you really need, you really need to, to make use of those available resources. Of course, uh, maraming mga tutorials sa uh, YouTube. Maraming mga books tayo na pwedeng uh, aralin. Sa YouTube naman ay uh, piliin talaga natin, i-evaluate muna natin kung reliable ba yung resource. Kasi maraming mga uh, information na sa YouTube about trading. And sometimes it's not really the one which fits to your strategy and to your lifestyle. So what I mean here is that uh, in trading, you really need to to match it with the time available that you have. Kasi kung mag-day trade ka or short-term trade ka, but you actually don't have that enough time to monitor the market, then there will be problem later. So, ayun. So, better to, to try to fine-tune that uh, strategy such that uh, it also uh, uh, you have that uh, enough time also uh, ano ba yung mga inaral ko uh, ginawa ko para maging uh, accelerated yung learning ko so I was uh, listening to reliable resources uh, sources from YouTube I was reading a lot uh, from uh, Google uh, books I, I purchase books uh, yung hard copy at sometimes mga ebooks and uh, usually talaga YouTube yung, yung ginawa kong uh, medium of my uh, way of uh, learning kasi minsan wala akong time magbasa ng book so yung ginagawa ko yung mga time ko na pwede kong i-parallel yung book reading I mean yung YouTube at saka yung uh, activity na ginagawa ko like for example I'm just washing the dishes I uh, piniplay ko yung uh, tablet ko in front of me while I'm washing the dish and of course in order for me not to disturb uh, the others mga kasambahay ko dito yung asawa ko at yung uh, anak ko ay gumagamit din ako ng bluetooth na headset para uh, abang naguhugas uh, ng pinggan ay okay lang at uh, kahit na naglalakad-lakad ka sa bahay ay may pinakikinggan ka or minsan nga guys uh, habang nag ano ako naglo lawn mower habang nag nag uh, puputol ako ng damo dito sa garden namin ay nakikinig din ako sa sa mga tutorial or mga interviews about traders sa YouTube kasi marami diyan at, mara at uh, in this way guys na, na accelerate ko talaga yung uh, yung learning curve ko and this is the reason why uh, 
very successful yung mga results ko sa trading. And of course, uh, in trading guys, hindi talaga may iwasan natin na may losses tayo. Pero the trick here is that when you are lo losing, uh, you need to control that. You, you need to minimize as much as possible. You need to know how much money, how much amount are you going, are you going to lose in, in every trade. And that is the first consideration na tinitingnan ko kapag before I'm clicking the buy button. So how much loss I will, it will incur if I am not right. So it means that uh, I already predefined uh, where to exit from my trade. Alright, so tingnan natin yung uh, ano ko dito, screen recorder. I hope that it will already work. Alright, so this is a test, test my quantity for. Okay, so binabati ko yung uh, mga pag, ngayon pa lang pag-join si Paul, Paul, uh, Paul, uh, Raymond Rookie. Okay, so si Paul ay uh, nag-PM na sa akin na interesado siya sa aking one-on-one -on -one session. So actually that is a good time kasi katatapos ko lang din ng isa kong student. Actually this my this uh, recording na gagawin, gagawin ko ngayon ay from my another student and we are already in the last session. Uh, so katatapos na kami this week so I will be available again for my next student. All right, so let me start my recording and guys uh, only sit back and enjoy and uh, the record ko yung uh, yung ano ko dito. Alright, so Mark, this is our uh, another recording recorded session for momentum trading, and in this uh, session, I re record ko yung mga mga strategies ko na ginagamit for momentum trading. In fact, itong momentum trading ito yung madalas ko ginagamit, lalo na sa mga volatile market in both the uh, US and the PH market. So recently. I have been trading the marijuana stocks and it really gave me a tremendous amount of result using momentum trading. At uh, today, uh, pwede kong ipakita sa iyo kung ano ba yung naging strategy ko. Paano ako nag-enter, paano ako nag-exit. So, that marijuana stock nowadays uh, in the previous day, days became uh, a very hot uh, stock in the US market dahil sa uh, lumabas na news na yung Telray uh, company ay nabigyan na ng uh, approval ng US to export to to export uh, I mean to import uh, marijuana to US with uh, with uh, license para ngayon ay uh, pag-aralan siya so ibigay sa research and development para tingnan kung ano yung pwedeng magawa dito na possible na pwedeng uh, gawing isang ingredients to create beverages oils and other and other medical products uh, so, so so yun big lang tumaas so mayroong momentum yung yung stock na yun so ngayon uh, papakita ko sa yo Ano ba yung strategy ko for momentum trading? So, of course, uh, I can give you a, a local example from the local stock market in the Philippines. Yung mga stocks na biglang nagkaroon ng, uh, I mean, nagkaroon talaga ng momentum setup. So, let me pull out my, my chart. So, basically, pag momentum trading, ang uh, tinitingnan ko dito, it's either uh, una, ay uh, kailangan ano siya uh, kailangan uh, uh, 54 52 week high or or 24 week high so yun na yung pinaka minimum 24 week high and preferably 52 week high so bakit nga ba uh, kailangan nating tingnan na 52 week high or 24 week high so let me pull out one of the stocks here na nagkaroon ng talagang momentum so let me 
check IRC. So, ayan. So, itong IRC. Okay. So, tinitingin lang ko dito yung year. Kung ano pang year nangyari to. Para makita ko kung is it. 52 week or 24 week okay let me just uh, open it again without uh, using my template okay so right now I am here at the PSE chart, PSE tool chart. So IRC. Okay, ngayon ay nakikita ko na yung date. So as you can see, right now nandito tayo sa September. So last year September. So as you can see from the September last year, ayan, yan lang yung price niya. So yung current price niya this year is really 52 week high uh, okay let's start with this so rewind natin yung chart so let's say for example nagsimula tayo ng July di ba? July then as you can see hindi na hindi na siya nagkaroon ng rally upwards bumalik siya nag retrace then nag rally ulit hanggang sa maabot niya ulit yung almost the same high ng uh, month of uh, July alright so ngayon dito tayo sa August 23 so yung gagawin ko dito is that uh, I need to see na meron talagang mataas na volume ito yung breakout candle tingnan mo so kailangan una magkaroon ng breakout so this was the previous high and this is the breakout candle So ngayon kailangan magkaroon ng uh, breakout. So ito yung breakout. At yung breakout na yan nagkaroon tayo ng mataas na, na volume. So let's check here. With net volume, magkano yung volume na yan? Okay, hindi net volume kundi net value. Ayan. So another criteria is that uh, it, ito yung uh, breakout ah, hindi pala yan ito pala yun okay. so magkano yung volume na yan the net volume is 108 and we only need a minimum of 40 million so yun na yun pag uh, bum, bagsak pa ng 40 million hindi yan uh, qualified sa ating momentum uh, trading criteria so una It's either 52 week high or 24 week high. Alright? So, pasado. Kasi ito, 108 million eh. So, ngayon, kasi nag-breakout, bibili ka ba? So, kas, dahil nag-breakout, minsan, uh, malayo na yung price sa breakout uh, point. So, yan ang wag na wag nating ahabulin kasi there is always that uh, possibility na magkakaroon ng pullback back to this uh, breakout point or back to the previous pivot point so dalawa yung possibility either here or here or in the middle so ayan so hindi ko ina-advise na habulin yung price after the breakout instead uh, wait for a pullback so ayun ngayon the second day There is another candle. Yung candle na to nag-open above the previous uh, high. I mean the previous high of the candle. Yes, correct. And the volume was was high during that day. So, anong gagawin natin yan? So, basically, yung entry point natin kapag nag-break out, I mean kapag uh, momentum, kailangan ma-exceed niya itong ano previous high ng uh, breakout candle that is one criteria so ngayon uh, 
bibili tayo kapag uh, nag-break out siya with high volume. So, itong volume na nakikita mo is actually the volume of the whole day. So, we cannot uh, we cannot uh, really see na ano ba yung talagang volume during that time na nag-open siya. So, in that case, we can uh, we can uh, we should we should mark first this uh, candle para ma ano natin ito yung candle ng breakout at ito yung candle na the next day uh, candle so let's just mark that one the red para pag bumaba tayo ng uh, one uh, ng one hour so makikita natin ito yun di ba okay so, nandito yung uh, candle na yun. This is a one hour candle. So, as you can see, nag-open siya dito. Pero, hindi siya umangat. Pababa yung price. So, this is one, one pullback. So, ngayon, nag-pullback siya. Ayan. Basically, uh, sabi ko kanina, ay our buy zone should be just the area na kung saan nagkaroon ng breakout wherein kapag uh, in, in case na yung price ay tumaas na I'm not advising you to to catch the price at a higher price at a higher level instead watch for any pullback at yung pullback na yun it's possible na babalik siya dito sa base sa breakout point or either here somewhere here sa pivot point so, pag sinabi kong pivot point, ito yun. Ha? Parang support. Ito yun. Kasi, uh, drawing ko lang. So, this is that B shape. Nag-retrace, then bounce. So, ito yung pivot. So, it's either here in this area. Kung area na yan, pwede yung maging pullback area as well. Pero, uh, dito pa lang sa breakout zone it's also uh, uh, that, that is the point where the, the pullback happened so dahil nag pullback siya, bibili ka ba ka agad hindi kundi uh, what you are going to do is that uh, to wait for a bounce kasi pag bumili ka agad dito ang mayayari dyan, it's either pwede magtuloy tuloy pa baba yung price at mag pullback dito pala sa pivot point na sinasabi ko kanina so ang gagawin natin for us not to be caught on that trap ay aantayin natin na maporma yung isang one hour, one hour candle ano ba yung magiging itsura ng one hour candle saan siya mag close at so analyze muna natin itong uh, one hour candle itong one hour candle nag open siya dito above the previous high ng breakout candle this is the breakout candle that is the previous high so nag-open siya dito but hindi nagkaroon ng sustainability for the price to rally upwards instead ang nangyari ay tumuloy pa pababa yung price diba? with a high volume so ibig sabihin may mga traders dito na nag-chupit ibig sabihin I mean, what I mean here is for a short term sa breakout sila nagbebenta uh, so ayun mala, mataas yung pagbebenta ng vol, uh, ang volume na yan ay mas mataas pa sa volume ng breakout that is really a very uh, convincing uh, profit taking kasi yung volume pa lang niya nagpapakita na, na malakas yung pag ano niya dito uh, pagbebenta however yung price uh, hindi bumagsak instead nagkaroon ng uh, candle at the breakout point. So, okay. Tingnan muna natin dito. Ah. Alright. So, nandito na tayo ngayon. I-colorize ko lang ito ng medyo light para hindi ngayon makakasagabal sa ano. Ayun. So, nakita mo naman itong candle, ba? Ayun, may candle. Pero yung candle na to is doji. Doji is a sign of indecisiveness Meaning, hindi malaman ngayon kung saan, nat, saan direction pupunta yung price It's either up or down, so we don't know So, indecisive 
So, kumbaga, mayroon tayong tag of war, walang may nanalo. So, ano pa? Parang nag-aagaw pa sila, nag uh, ano pa sila, nag yung bears and diba, mga bulls nagbebentahan pa dito. So, ngayon naman the next candle uh, okay, so here it is. We have formed a doji candle here. So, basically our entry point if the, the next candle, one hour candle will form. We need that uh, this previous high of the, this doji will be exceeded by the next candle. So, tingnan natin yung next candle. Alright, na, yung next candle nag-open dito, I mean nag-open dito, tumaas, pero hindi nag-close above the previous high. And the volume was very low. Ayun, so antayin antay muna natin yung next candle ulit. Open dito, bumagsak, pinawi ng mga buyers, volume is above average, fine. However, this uh, candle has uh, closed uh, below the previous candle. So, it's still not a buy signal for us. Another candle, mas pinabagsak pa with a much higher volume than the previous volume. It's not again a buy signal. Ha then, later on, nag-close dito yung candle. Tingnan mo. At 1.65, nag-close yung candle. But the next uh, candle opened at 1.70 so this is a so called gap di ba? kasi dito nag close 1.65 then the next candle opened at 1.70 nag gap up a gap up is an indication na buyers are strong buyers are willing to move, move this price higher they are willing to buy at a higher price and nakita mo naman yung equalizing volume kapareho lang ng volume na nagbenta in the previous hour this is one sign that bulls are are uh, becoming uh, active here pero hindi pa tayo agad bibili dyan diba? kasi uh, we need to to observe how this uh, candle will close and my criteria is that kailangan uh, mag close yung candle na to at the 25% uh, uh, range ng, ng candle so, pag sinabi kong 25% range, para ma-illustrate ko lang yan, meron ako ditong painting, okay? So, mag-drawing ako dito ng candle. So, this is the candle. This is the wick of the candle. The upper wick. And the lower wick. Ayan, so, let's say this is a blue. Uh, I mean, not blue but uh, green candle so meaning that uh, it opened uh, okay let me use a green color so this is a green candle open that opened here and ito yung wicks nya and yung upper wick ito yung lower wick so, itong candle is an example of a candle that closed on the upper 25% of its range. Ano yung range na sinasabi ko? This range is this. Uh, this is the upper range. And this is the lower range. So, this is the 100% range. Yung 25% niya ay kung hati-hatiin natin yung candle into to four equal parts one two three four so one two three four so i did not draw it accurately but you know what i mean so every part is 25 percent so meaning kapag nag open ay nag close yung sorry nag close yung candle above this 25 percent range it is an indication for me in a short term basis that the price wants to move higher and that I will I will uh, use that as an indicator that the price uh, uh, for for my entry signal. So how will I enter? It's either here if the price goes above this uh, body of that candle, or if the the candle moves higher than the highs of this candle. So ibig sabihin dito ako magi enter ng buy or uh, 
dito at uh, if the price goes higher than the upper part of the body but this is really the most reliable this one if the price moves higher than the upper part of the week the highest range of the, of the candle the previous candle all right so back to the chart so mag-e-enter ako kapag yung uh, makakita ako ng isang candle na closed higher uh, I mean the candle that closed on the the upper 25% of the range so saan yung mga candle na yun? so this is that candle that candle ayan so ayan nag close nga siya sa kanyang 100% uh, range so ibig sabihin kapag may candle na mag mag open or yung candle ay nalagpasan niya itong yung highest point of this candle I will enter a buy so ano yun so dito wala pa di ba pumagsak pa yung price so ibig sabihin this will be my entry signal ito yung entry candle ko ito yung 1.76 and uh, yun bili ka dito just told I mean of course, uh, I need to measure how much, uh, what will be my stop loss, if that will be my entry. The easiest way to find out the stop loss is to take the next, the previous candle, the lows of the previous candle. So, ito yung low niya. So, syempre, hindi ko lalagay yung stop loss ko sa low, kundi medyo imumove ko siya ng konti para magkaroon ako ng buffer zone. Para kung sakali meron akong stop loss order dyan ay hindi ako basta-basta nakikick out ng, ng uh, uh, temporary uh, swing ng, ng price uh, to move down. So pag may auto stop loss order ka dyan at medyo malapit siya sa support or, sa, sa, or nasa mismong uh, uh, lower part of the candle ay ma, uh, madali kang makikick out only to find out later the price will move to your desired direction so ano ba yung stop loss na to how much is that uh, risk na tinitake natin if this is your uh, your entry signal that is your stop loss so you are at 5% uh, uh, stop loss so ang tanong if the, the price moves against you Will you be able to take this 5%? Magkano yung 5% na yan in your position size na tinitrade mo? If you have, uh, let's say, 50,000 pesos na position, how much is that uh, 5%? So, let me calculate. 50,000 times uh, 0 0.05. So, you are risking 2,500 of your port. So, ang tanong, will you take that loss? If yes, then we can go on. If no, it means that this is quite uh, high for you as a risk. So, you can, uh, another way is to put your stop loss just below this candle. Na below the, the low of your entry candle. So, yung candle kasi nito ay ay nag-open uh, at 1.72 and your uh, entry price is at 1.76 so how much risk will you take if that will be your cut loss uh -huh. then ayun nabawasan ng uh, mga ilang percent so ngayon we have only 3.43% risk instead of risking 5% so this is one way to reduce the risk in your trade. Hindi lang yung nakakita ka ng entry point ay diretso ka na agad buy. Then after mo nag buy, doon mo na consider kung saan yung stop loss mo. That's right. That, that's not right. Uh, so hindi po, hindi po effective yung ganitong strategy. So kailangan before ka mag buy, alam mo na ngayon kung magkano yung matatalo sa'yo kapag nag reverse yung... Uh, yung yung trend so remember also that we are trading a momentum stock 
therefore in just few minutes it can move uh, at a wide range in a very very short period of time so another way to reduce this risk is not just uh, putting it transferring your stop loss to the lowest to the low of this uh, entry candle another way is to uh, use a lower time frame kasi ihimayin niya ngayon yung candle diba so instead of one candle in one hour candle in a one hour candle isang candle lang yun so kapag gamamit tayo ng 30 minutes magiging uh, dalawang candle na yun yung isang one hour so saan ba yung ano natin uh, entry candle dito so, ito yun so okay hindi ito maganda kasi hindi niya hinimay okay let me go back Okay, ito. This is our candle. Then, the 30 minutes. Ayun. So, dito tayo nag-entry. Then, our stop uh, can be the low of the previous candle. And how much risk are we taking? This one is uh, 4.27, much lower than 5%. Or, you move your stop below the low of the of the entry candle okay how much risk okay naging 3.46 percent na lang so okay let's say that uh, this uh, risk is already fine to you let's move back to our one hour candle so we have now our entry candle entry price in our uh, stop loss all set then uh, the next uh, is uh, how we can uh, uh, trade this one so basically we want that the price will move higher if the we hold if we hold on the stock kapag uh, uh, talaga nagrarally siya at mag exit tayo kapag pumagsak sa stop loss so wala na tong excuses na uh, sabihin natin na okay baka tamaan yung cut loss ko eh imove ko pa o oh, pababa yung price imove ko pa pababa naman yung price that is really very very dangerous guys kasi kapag minumove mo ngayon yung stop loss mo you are increasing your your uh, possibility to accumulate uh, paper loss at uh, later of the day uh, magiging ano ka na matatalo ka ng malaking amount dahil nilakihan mo ngayon yung uh, uh, risk mo so let's say instead of having only 3.5% eh, minove mo siya ng pababa yung, yung uh, stop loss mo, naging doble na magiging 7% at ngayon kung natamaan yung 7% mahirap bawiin lalo na kapag eh, hindi ka nag exit at nagtuloy tuloy pa pababa ang mangyayari sa iyo ngayon ay eh, magiging long term investor ka na so yan ang ayo nating mangyari sa ating uh, ating uh, ano uh, trade kasi we want that we are we are always in the game we, and and uh, in order for us to stay in the game we need to discipline ourselves to execute the plan right so let me post this for a while Alright, so ayun, may mga post ko muna yung recording ko at uh, may mga nakikinig na sa atin, dumadami at uh, may mga nagtatanong anong stock din i-discuss mo sir So basically yung dinidiscuss ko na stock is IRC and this is not about uh, analyzing the upcoming uh, uh, stock So what I'm doing now actually is I'm recording a tutorial para sa aking student at uh, tinorn on ko lang dito yung audio broadcast ko sa aking cellphone para naman na uh, mga kababayan natin dyan na gusto rin matuto habang nagdi-discuss ako dito ay mapapakinggan nila yung, uh, yung boses ko at yung mga words na sinasabi ko at naway may makuha kayong uh, lesson on this uh, on, on this uh, topic for today so ayun uh, mga mga nag-join na dito marami uh, hello sa inyong lahat I hope every one of you is doing fine 
and uh, all your uh, portfolios are green hopefully <laughs> despite of uh, PSEI going down last week right so guys makinig lang kayo at uh, naway may mapulot kayong lessons dito at for those who are interested to avail this uh, recorded uh, video na may video talaga hindi lang audio ay mangyari ay sabihin nyo lang at i-PM nyo lang ako kasi yung dinidiscuss ko dito is one of my special uh, strategy in uh, in trading stock uh, in both Philippine and US market so this is so called the momentum trading yung bang mabilisan na uh, no, kitaan so this is one of the best uh, strategies for those who want to earn fast in a short period Alright, so guys, I continue my recording and just sit back and enjoy, alright? So, uh, tuloy ko muna to. Alright, so, ayan. So, let's say na naka-hold ka na dito sa ating ano. Okay, let's say na hindi na tayo nag, ano, nag uh, stop loss. I mean, uh, hindi bumagsak yung price. So, we want that the price, if this is our uh, entry position. So, ano ba yun? Ah, ito pala. Okay, tanggalin ko muna itong uh, box na to. So, this is our entry position. Nandiyan yung area na yan. And we want that price is, uh, if it is not uh, moving up, at least uh, it should stay in this area. So, that's a good sign. Meaning that it's still uh, staying above our stop loss point. Ayan. So, Paano ko naman ngayon na... Uh, ay, by the way, yung... Hindi ko pala na ano dito yung OBB. So, balik tayo dito sa so one day. So, yung base sa tanong ni Anthony kanina. Uh, he wants uh, to find out how I am using the OBB. Okay, so, tingnan mo naman dito yung... Uh, Tingnan mo dito yung uh, movement ng price. Hindi siya nag-break out at this area, this point. Instead, nag-retrace siya and then bumalik sa the same level as supposed to be mag-break out. Pag ganito ang setup na nag-retrace, then nagkaroon na ng higher high ito. This is an indication of uh, soon to, to break out. That is one sign. Ito, may higher high, higher low, higher high and higher low, higher high. So, this point, will uh, this type of uh, setup is soon to break out. This is so-called ascending triangle. Kasi dito, yung mga buyers, they are willing to pay at a higher price. So, hindi bumabagsak yung price. So, nag sumusunod siya sa isang diagonal support. That's why uh, this is a high prob probability na mag break out. That is only one one sign. Another is uh, to use the OBB. Kasi kailangan habang nag, uh, nag, nag tumataas yung price, we want that the price, the, I mean we want, if the price is moving higher, we want also that the volume is moving higher. Kasi pag tumataas yung price, then yung volume naman ay hindi, hindi masyadong tumataas, hindi yan sustainable. Kasi imagine that trading in the market, it's about buyers and sellers who are in a so-called tug of war. So, kung parehong uh, sides, both sides of the tug of war have the same number of people and the same strength, walang mananalo, di ba? So, if the buyers are more on one side, than the sellers on the other side then the possibility is mahatak nila uh, they will be able to pull down the sellers diba? ganun din dito sa trading so it's also a tug of war 
So, it's not just about the price, but the volume also matters. So, ngayon, we have here an indicator called OBB. And this OBB is telling us the, that who is, uh, uh, which uh, direction is the price moving. If the price is moving higher, I mean, if which uh, direction is the volume moving. Is the vol If the volume is moving up, ibig sabihin, buyers are uh, increasing the volume of buyers are increasing and if if the if the volume or the obb indicator is moving down meaning the sellers are uh, dominating the seller volume is much more than the uh, buyers so ngayon kung titingnan mo tong uh, breakout point hindi siya nag breakout yan at malalaman natin kung ba bakit kaya hindi nag breakout it's because pag nag-draw tayo dito ng resistance sa point na yan, makikita mo, if you look at the left side, okay, i-delete ko muna to. If you look at the, ito, ito yung point na hindi niya na breakout. Ito yung point ng volume, exact volume, na kung saan ang, ang breakout mag ma mangyayari sana. Bakit hindi nag-breakout? Malalaman natin from the chart and looking at the OBB. Ngayon, pag tiningnan mo yung left side ng OBB, makikita mo na may volume din dito, di ba? Hindi din nag-break out. Ngayon, in order to break out, the volume also must break out. Kapag hindi nag-break out yung volume, meaning to say, walang may nanalo. Uh, ganun pa rin yung volume. So, back to sa sinabi ko ganina na tag -abor, kailangan para may manalo, Ibig sabihin, para mag-breakout, dumami yung, uh, yung volume ng buyers. If, the, if we want price to move higher, the volume must also move higher than the, the, the max volume. So ito yun. Dahil ngayon, hindi nag-breakout dito. Yung price nag-reject. Hindi siya nag-breakout. Diba? Kitang-kita naman. From this point, OBB price did not break out here. So, ngayon, bumagsak yung price. Pero, hindi siya bumagsak lalo. And, mayroon na naman tayong point dito. I'm calling it as a support volume. So, yung price at uh, volume analysis is almost uh, the same. Kaya lang, iba lang yung pagkaka-interpret natin. Kasi, we are talking about volume already. So, ito, tingnan mo. Ngayon naman, ang... ang, ang uh, ang makikit, nakikita natin dito sa volume is that the volume went down. I mean, the OBB went down. However, despite of it as uh, going down, it was not able to move farther down than this point. Kasi, di ba, this was a previous resistance. Now, it is respected and became the new support of the volume. So, yung volume dito, hindi dumiretso. Ibig sabihin, uh, walang masyadong sellers na nagbebenta. Despite they have uh, sold off some, some of their shares, but hindi siya masyado nabenta. nabenta. So, ayun, nag-consolidate lang. May bumibili, mataas. Tumaas ulit to the same point. Yun, naretest niya yung previous high ng price. Hindi nag-break out. Bakit? Kasi yung volume is not enough. So, naglalaban pa rin yung, ba, ano, yung, yung buyers and sellers dito. Right, so consolidating yung price. Nag-breakdown, I mean nag-retrace. Hindi dumiretso yung price pa baba. Bakit? Kasi yung volume ng sellers is not enough. So, hindi masyadong marami yung nagbenta. So, from that alone, masasabi mo na na, uy, yung uh, may nagbebenta, may bumibili, pero yung nagbenta, hindi masyadong marami. Hindi niya ngayon ma-overwhelm yung buyers. Kaya yung price stays the same. In fact, uh, with, this with this movement of the price, it can show that the buyers are more powerful dahil the buyers wants to, uh, I mean the buyers are, are willing to buy at a higher price uh, indicated by this higher highs and higher low. That's why na-form natin itong ascending triangle, di ba? So, Yung, yung supply, 
nag-remain constant lang. So, yung volume, hindi umi-increase yung volume. And because of that reason, hindi niya ngayon pinapabagsak yung price. Which is a very, very good sign. So, dito pa lang, pag nakakita ka na ng, ng, ng mga ganyang setup, maganda nang bumili. Sa diagonal, it's either on the diagonal support for those who want to have the lower, lower risk. Kasi pag diagonal support tayo, madaling umexit. Napaka, napaka lapit lang ng uh, stop loss natin. Kasi pag ma-breakdown yung uh, diagonal support natin, ibig sabihin, invalid na itong in ascending triangle. So, exit na tayo. Minimal 1% lang yung risk natin dyan, or 0.5% is possible. For those conservative buyers naman, conservative buyers used to buy at the breakout. Ngayon, kasi momentum trading tayo, we want to to see a breakout. We don't buy at the breakout. We, we want to see a breakout. Then, kung malayo na masyado yung price, ay uh, antayin yung pullback. Ngayon, pag hindi masyadong lumayo yung, yung price, we need to wait till that candle close. Uh, Mag-close yung candle na yan. Then, kapag nalagpasan ng next uh, uh, candle yung previous high ng previous candle, then we make a buy. Yung sinabi ko kanina. So, ngayon, yung... Uh, yung makikita natin dito, ito yung in-explain ko ngayon dito yung ano ha, OBB. So, nakita mo naman na nag-breakout talaga dito yung volume. At kasabay niyan ay ang price breakout. So, this is a proof that mas malakas na ngayon yung buyers kaysa sa sellers. Kapag magkaroon ng ganyan, expect that the price is moving towards the direction of the buyers. So, buyers will will uh, wants to move price higher so that's why rally will will, will happen all right so ayun nakapasok na tayo hold lang tayo so ngayon naman uh, paano natin ma ma lalaman na hold pa rin so basically yung ginagamit kong indicator for that is the EMA i think in the previous video na na sinend ko sa'yo is uh, applicable I mean na-explain ko to but I will I will still repeat this uh, this topic for uh, for this uh, momentum trades alright so delete ko muna yung mga unnecessary things here or remove drawing tools para makita natin so I-draw natin ulit itong uh, resistance na na-breakout. Ayan. So, let's colorize it with red. At yung entry candle natin ay dito. Dito tayo nag-enter. Hindi tayo nag-enter dito kasi bum bumagsak. Alright. So, let's say you are now in the winning side. Nag-breakout. Of course, if we are already in the winning side, there are two things that we can do to take care that we are still we are profitable I mean to take care that we are not turning this advantage into losses so meaning we should know how to to conserve that profit so my my strategy is to use EMA10 as a dynamic or a trail stop so, hanggang nasa above uh, EMA 10 yung price, I will be holding on. If the price is bouncing on the EMA 10 and I can still, still see a good setup, I can scale in. Scale in meaning pwede ako magdagdag ng share. So, kung this is our uh, entry candle, of course, we, we, would, we would not be scaling in at that... Uh, at that area. So, hanap tayo ngayon ng area na kung saan nag-form ulit siya ng setup sa taas. Actually, right now, we are looking at a possible good setup for a one-day chart for our IC. This is, again, another possible uh, 
scale in or yung mga bibili pa lang ng IRC next week. So, ang gusto ko dito ngayon kasi uh, my criteria is that the price should be moving above EMA 10. Ngayon, previous candles, mayroong doji dito. So, EMA 10, it's not a buy signal for me. I want that the price is going above this doji. Then, tingnan mo naman yung volume, medyo maliit pa. It's not the kind of volume that is uh, convincing for me. Also, uh, looking at OBB, nandito yung uh, volume resistance na break. At ngayon, uh, as you can see, parang ginagawing support na ngayon yung dating volume resistance volume. So, pwede maging support na ito ngayon such that the volume uh, OBB will just have some kind of bounce on that support, new support. So, kapag nangyari yan, that is a good indication, then yung price is, is moving higher than this area, it's a buy again. So, kung nakabili ka na dito sa previous breakout position, yung entry position mo, you can still scale in. You can put additional position there. So, by the way, uh, this is about scale in. So, so the next thing that uh, we can discuss is uh, about uh, if you have only a single position here and you don't want any scale in, how can you conserve your profit such that hindi siya uh, mawawala? I mean, up ka na ng 15% at ayaw mong mabawasan yan ng kahit 2% lang. So, with this strategy na mag exit ka lang kapag bumagsak yung price below EMA 10, ang problema dito kasi medyo malayo na yung price nung bumagsak. So, let's say profitable ka na dito with how many percent from this uh, entry point to this, profitable ka na ng 48%. So, syempre, pag profitable ka na ng 48%, ayaw mo maging 20% na lang yan or 15% bago ka makalabas, di ba? So, looking at the one-day candle, pag ginamit mo yung EMA 10 trail stop strategy, malayo yung magiging movement ng price. Yung masasayang na profit is 16.94%, which is very, very big. So, how do I handle such kind of scenario? I am using again a lower time frame and you can choose either 4 hour or 1 hour uh, let's look at 4 hours muna ayun so analyze natin dito ulit yung entry entry candle natin entry uh, or first position saan tayo ngayon mag exit mag exit tayo kapag mayroong uh, candle na nag-close sa EMA 10. This is that candle. The, uh, this one. This red candle. Uh, September 18, 9.30. So, nag-close nag siya dyan. So, just to label. So, meaning to say that below the low of that candle is my trail stop. I will mark a trail stop below that. Now, kapag bumagsak below that uh, level, I will be exiting. So, how much yung uh, profit na makakawala from the highs to this? That is 17% instead of having uh, uh, of wasting more than 26%. That is in the case of 4 hour. How, how about kung 1 hour? So, okay. Dito pa rin yung entry position natin. Hanap tayo ngayon ng profitable ka na. Hanap tayo ng candle na close below EMA 10. Ito yun. Diba? Ito yun. So, where will be our trail stop? So, our trail stop is just below this uh, this one. This candle. So, kapag nag uh, bumagsak yung price below this uh, trail stop, we will exit the trade. Okay, from this high to this, magiging uh, almost the same. 
16, uh, 16%. So, bakit nangyari yun? Dahil nagkaroon tayo ng bullish engulfing candle dito. So, okay, so yung 4 hour at 1 hour medyo pareho lang. But it's not always true kasi kung wala tayong bullish engulfing candle di, I mean bearish engulfing candle, sorry. Uh, medyo mata eh, lalagay natin ng sa taas kung hindi dahil dito. So maybe in this way ma ma-reduce -re natin yung uh, wasted profit. All right, so of course, kailangan din natin templahin na hindi kagad tayo nag exit dito. Kasi minsan, ano lang siya, retracement. Kagaya dito. Kung nag-exit ka kagad dito, hindi eh, na, na, na miss mo itong opportunity na nag pa siya. Diba? This is the reason why that uh, when we found a bull, this is uh, what I'm teaching to my students, when you found a bull, just ride on it while it's still moving fast. Now, kapag medyo bumahabagal na to, may mga indication na tayo dito. Na halimbawa ito, nag-crossover na. I mean, yung candle, uh, ang candle dito ay nag-cross na below this EM810. Then, it's giving us a warning signal na, hey, be alerted. Kasi, uh, uh, sellers are now here. So, by the way, itong candle, instead of having it as a, uh, instead of uh, a bearish engulfing candle, the volume is very, very high. So, ano ba yung masasabi natin dito? From this entry point, ito yung volume natin, buyers, buying volume, mataas. Dito, may nag-sell, nagbenta. Okay, pero may, medyo mababa yung first uh, bar. Yung second bar, half lang ng next, the previous bar. Okay, benta ulit. Pero, altogether, this was not able to to compensate the buying volume. That's why, sa tag of war, nanalo pa rin yung uh, buyers. Pag sinundan pa ulit ng mga buyers na coming in, yun. Then, the price is really moving fast. I mean, the candles are really showing to us that it wants to move higher. Bakit ko nasabi yun? Bakit kasi yung candle is closing above the 25, I mean at the upper 25% of its range. Okay, gaya ng nasabi ko kanina. So you can use this uh, indication where the price wants to, to be heading. And then volume. See naman, uh, look at the volume. Tumataas pa rin yung buyer's volume. Okay dito, medyo nag-consolidate. May volume of sellers, that's fine. But, you, you should also check the OBB na hindi siya bumabagsak at the support volume. Kasi once bumagsak ng support volume yan, ibig sabihin, nagdo-dominate na ngayon yung sellers. So, look at this. This this candle, this bearish engulfing candle na tumawid below EM810, na mataas yung volume, look at what happened. This is crossing the support volume and yun nagtuloy-tuloy ayun that is really uh, one way to to determine if we need to exit or not so we have here price we have here volume this is all what we just need nothing else of course from from this uh, chart we already know that it is under momentum yeah uh, we don't need to measure any more momentum we don't need to keep on tracing what's the current momentum once you already found that it's in momentum, that is enough information. The next is just focus on the price and volume. Alright? So I hope this is helping you to, to trade the smarter way. Just by looking at price and volume. And this is actually price action strategy. Price action and volume strategy na ginagamit po in both my trades in PH, in Philippine market and the US market. And uh, I, I can show you an example where I I, uh, I earned in the last two days with the marijuana stock U.S. market. I can I can show to you a momentum trade na na ginawa ko. I just uh, disclose it here in my session. Uh, I earned three thousand eight hundred dollar 
for that trade within one night. $3,800 guys. Marijuana stock. Tell Ray. So, ito yun. So, with momentum trading. Ang ano lang dito. I just uh, giving you warning na with a momentum trades, expect that the market will be very very volatile. Within few minutes, it can really move uh, very very fast. So dito naman, uh, ito, gawin natin example yung Telray. At one day chart plot uh, EMA10. Okay. Okay. So, pag i-plot mo ngayon yung one one day chart, parang wala ka masyadong makikita ng ano dito. I mean, I mean uh, uh, makikita mo yung yung whole uh, trend that uh, it will tell you that okay, price is above. Uh, okay, let's let's rewind uh, back on on uh, this day. August 23, we know that the price is above the uh, EMA 10. That is good. So, we measure the momentum. Magkano yung momentum niya during that time? Okay, momentum is already far, far away from 30. So, like what I said, the minimum momentum for momentum trade should be 30. So, 30 and above, yan dapat yung measure the momentum natin. Below that, wag muna. That is not yet in momentum phase. So, we need to wait. So, kapag one day candle, you can see the whole situation in a big picture. But for a very volatile market like this, we need to reduce the time frame. Kasi, uh, itong ano, candle na yan, pag i-measure ko yan, makikita mo na napakataas na ng ano ng uh, tingnan muna saan ba yung measurement tool ko ok measure ko itong candle na to that is already 9.3% so matataas yung percentage so ang gagawin ko ngayon ay to reduce to 1 hour so let's say 1 hour so, price is uh, just riding on this EMA 10 as you can see. So, balik tayo dito August 23. Okay. So, alam natin na this is under momentum. So, where will be our entry point? So, ayun. So, this is the high. Uh, gusto natin, as much as possible, gusto natin na uh, we are buying when the candle is just uh, sitting on the EMA 10 or just a little bit above from it so ngayon we will draw a resistance line which will uh, project the highs of this uh, the highs of this uh, candle so okay itong ano doji dito ignore ko muna yan so ilagay ko dito yung pinaka resistance ko sa 40.44 so ngayon strategy is to enter a buy if this uh, will be uh, broken. So, retrace yung price. Yan. Sumasakay lang siya sa EMA 10. Okay, by the way, let's plot OBB. So, ayan. So, why is it that it was not broken? Dahil uh, sa volume dito. Ayan. This is volume looking at the left although mataas na siya kaysa sa dito that is okay but uh, this volume was not able to move higher than its uh, original point so bumabagsak yung volume but we want that the volume should not go below than this point okay so dito makikita mo naman nag it went below that so it is a warning signal to us that okay, it's not yet a buy. So, ngayon, let's move further. Ayun, may price breakout na dito. This is the breakout candle. Mark it. 
So again, we don't buy right away when there is a breakout candle. Okay? Kasi meron pang isang uh, chance to buy when there is a pullback. So wag tayong papabigla na pag nag-breakout, buy ka kaagad. Tingnan yung volume. Okay. There is a very high volume, 2 million. That is good. However, our OBB is still here. Ayan. We want that that OBB will will pass through here, will break this uh, resistance volume. And that will confirm our entry. Okay. So, ayun. Ayun. Uh, 2.5. Uh, yung yung uh, 2.15 uh, million. Uh, 2.1 million. Sunod na volume naging 2.21 this is a fast rising volume ayun and then the OBB broke out from the previous high I mean malapit pa lang siyang broken out parang every break out na ata to then we have here a pullback uh, umangat ng konti to 44 pero nag pullback so sa pullback na yan pwede tayong mag enter dyan I mean, another way is uh, we need to see that the price is uh, closing at the upper 25% of its range. Maybe in this candle, you will not be able to enter right away. Kasi itong previous breakout candle, hindi naman nag-close nag ng upper 25% of its range. So again, it doesn't satisfy. So, tingin ulit tayo. Although, volume is already attractive. Alright, yun. Next volume, breakout na dito sa OBB. Above average pa rin, but the volume is only 950,000. And we have a doji candle. So doji is again an indecisive candle. We don't know where it is going, up or down. But hey, ngayon, mayroon na. So we, we, want, we can label uh, the upper point of that doji. as our entry signal, entry point. Pag uh, lumagpas dyan yung price, buy na. Kasi mayroon na tayo dito yung volume above the, OB, above the resistance. Eh. So, okay, next candle. Oops. Nagbenta. May nagbenta dito. Umangat. Marahil makapasok ka na, mapapasok mo yung ano mo, uh, maka, ano ka, makabay ka dito dahil medyo nag-umangat siya. How, and the OBB is still up. So, let's say that is really our, our entry. Let's mark it as uh, entry, entry point. So, entry point is the breakout. I mean the pullback and another candle uh, which is rising. Oh. Okay. So, sumunod, yun, nag-gap up. Gap up. So, how much gap up did we have? From that point, ayun, naka 15% na kaagad. So, of course, once there is a gap up, it's normal that uh, people will take advantage of that nagbebenta sila kasi profitable eh in just a few moment gap up so tingnan natin yung date kung magkaiba yun magkaiba yung date this is August 24 nag gap up on the next week so I think this is Monday nag gap up ng 15% syempre pag may gap up yung tendency ng mga traders kasi profitable na nga sila they will sell and that is normal so you might also sell kasi naka-entry ka dito eh naka-entry ka ng trade so sa opening ano ka agad benta ang uh, strategy ko dito kapag nag-gap up ay sinisecure ko yung kapag kapag uh, nag-gap up nagmamark ako ng lay, uh, ng, uh, ng point na kung saan mag exit ako kapag uh, bumagsak palalo pero sa opening, napaka-volatile ng market. So, I don't use only 1 hour. Instead, I use 5 minutes. Kasi mabilisan talaga dyan. So, this is a very special scenario. There is a gap up. But, from this uh, strategy na in-explain ko ngayon, you are already profitable with 15%. Right? So, how to handle naman yung gap up? 
Again, in I set it to 5 minutes and I label a point na kung saan uh, kailangan kong lumabas and reposition na lang kapag mag, ma, bumagsak palalo then mag bounce so ano yung bouncing point na pwede akong aumenter dito sa previous na breakout diba? sinabi ko kanina na uh, if there is a breakout there is always a possibility to pull back to the, to the same origin so tingnan natin ayun hindi na siya bumalik sa ating breakout point Instead, uh, the price is just following the EMA10. Right? Volume is rising. OBB is still above the, that re, uh, point na nag-break out. Taas. So, it means that volume was really rising very, very fast. In, despite na may nagbenta dito, nag, uh, 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 buyers are still coming in. By the way, maybe you can also use this net uh, volume what you can do yung net volume indicator naman is nagpapakita ano ba yung net na ano ba yung kumbaga plus and minus ano ba yung uh, yung ano niya yung net volume ano yung naging naging uh, dito, naging sukli kumbaga <laughs> kumbaga nag plus ka ng 100 at nag, nagbenta ng 50 de 50 na lang yung matetera so yung net niyan is 50 so kung nag plus again ng 200 may nagbenta ng 50 eh yung magiging net is 150 kung may bumili ng may bumili ng 100 then may nagbenta ng 200 then minus 100 ka ngayon so ito yung pinapakita ng net volume so magagamit mo din itong strategy ng net volume Kapag nakita mo yung historical niya. So, yung net volume, uh, wag mong itulad dito kay OBB na nagpapakita talaga siya ng direction. Yung net volume, makikita mo lang yung uh, yung sa, uh, plus and minus, plus and minus ng ng uh, ng shares. Kasi di ba, bintahan, may, may magbebenta, may bibili, may bebenta. At ano yung nagiging resultant? Pero, while time goes by, makaka-create tayo dito ng channel. So, yung, yung uh, tinitingnan ko yung inner channel. Kasi, mayroon talaga, yung inner channel is showing to us yung action ng volume in most, most of the time. But there are times that the action is becoming more uh, emphasized than the average, like this one. So, itong point na to, mas uh, yung volume talaga nag-spike up. At usually, pag nag-spike up ng volume, nagkakaroon din ng reaction ng price. So, di ba, this is that uh, gap up also. And how much is that, that gap up? That is 9%. So, ito yung mga behavior na nagkakaroon ng uh, drastic change ng price kapag lumalagpas siya dito sa volume channel. So, you can also make use of that in in making a breakout place. For example, ito yung breakout point natin. Ito yung, so, para magkaroon ng decisive na breakout, sabi ko kanina, yung OBB must also breakout. And you can also confirm that with net volume. Kailangan din mag-breakout sa, ito sa channel. Bakit ko hindi nilagay dito? Kasi hindi naman yan yung ano eh, yung average. Ito yung average, yung talagang nakakakita ka ng kakakita ka ng channel na usually yung volume nag fluctuate lang dito yung net volume ngayon iba naman pag uh, pababa yung ano yung net volume meaning to say marami yung nagsi-sell oh tingnan mo yung yung volume na to napakataas na volume na nagbenta dito at ganun nga uh, nag spike down yung uh, yung net volume but with OBB okay Let's uh, eliminate that net value. OBB is still remaining at this area. As long as it's not heading down below this support volume, you are good. So, the number of shares traded is still there. So, I mean, what I mean is that uh, mayroong nagbebenta, but they are not able to dominate more than the buyers. 
so buyers are still there to to push price uh, to prevent it from falling downward ayun so ayan so gaya ng sinabi ko kanina we exit when uh, when we are already profitable we exit when the price moves below this uh, EMA then if the price uh, candle uh, closes that mark the low of that uh, price candle as your trail stop so saan yung yung candle dito na nag close wala so don't mark any trail stop over there dito mayroon ayun this red then I will mark a trail stop just a little bit below that I will use that as my exit point so itong candle hindi naman nag nag uh, bumagsak below that then I won't exit yet so ayun to ayan so I can sell so how much profit from this entry point to that that is an amazing 31.3% profit using momentum strategy and trend following trend following for the uh, trail stop so ayan so tingnan mo okay alright so this is a situation na marahil manghihinayan ka na tataas pa pala pero nabenta ko so kapag ganito we don't need to worry kasi actually we can still re-enter once we are able to make sure that uh, that uh, we are already profitable we should be happy and we are profitable with 35% we should be happy why because firstly it protects us uh, it protects our profit secondly we can still reposition so wag manghihinayang so dito alam naman natin na mayroon na namang resistance dito di ba this is this is a resistance Totokoyan ulit natin. Ano ba yung volume niyan? Ito yung resistance. So, kapag itong resistance ng volume ay ma-break out ulit, that is another buying opportunity for me. So, bibili ako dito. That point, di ba? Ayun. So, ano magiging resulta niyan? So, again, we need to take care about our stop loss. Ha? Kapag nag-re-enter ka, always control your risk. So, for momentum, 1%, 2% is already uh, the, the risk that I am taking. 5% medyo mataas yan. Although, it's very, very hard to, to... It's also very hard, I admit, to set up stop loss. Kapag very, very volatile yung market. Yung bang hindi lang siya nagmumob ng 5%, Eh, kung, I mean, nung 2%, so in that case, you really need to take a higher risk. This is what you call as the higher higher risk, high reward and high risk na, na, ano, na market, yung mga volatile market. Kagaya ng play ko kahapon with uh, another US market, uh, talagang in few seconds or few minutes, more than 5% yung movement. So, it's hard to just set up 1% stop loss. Kailangan mo talagang mag-risk ng medyo malaking ano, percentage. But, again, it's very important that you are really uh, controlling that risk. Kasi pag hindi, pinabayaan mo yan, yung 5% na yan, pwede yung lumobo ng 10%, pwede yung lumobo ng 15%. And you should always think, what will happen to you if, in case, uh, you were not able to exit. First thing, you will be knocked out from this game. You were out already. Your, your profit might be sleeping for long and you are not able to trade anymore. So, this is the reason why stop loss is very, very important. Alright? So, kapag nag-enter ulit tayo dito, ayun. Sumakay tayo sa EMA 10, labas ulit dito. Nakalabas ka, pumagsak pa yung price, bumawi, mayroon ka ulit uh, nakitang opportunity. So, ito yung highs niya. So, kapag nalagpasan yan, yung highs niya dito, I mean, this is the high, this is the high of that volume. Mark that, mark a resistance. If mag-break out yun, pasok ka ulit. So, pwede mo rin tingnan ito. Always 
check how much volume is coming in. So ayan. So talagang naging profitable ako itong itong trade ng Telray giving me 3,800 in just one night. All right. So Anthony, I hope that uh, you have uh, learned uh, from this strategy and you should make use of this uh, indicator na tinalakay ko. Paano mo mamarkahan yung resistance niya? Kab uh, kabaliktaran din kapag medyo pabaliktad naman yung trend. So in that case, hindi resistance yung either draw mo kundi uh, support. So halimbawa yan. Yan, di ba? Ito this point and this point that is a support. So kapag bumagsak dito below that, ibig sabihin sellers are now very very strong. So, as much as possible, you should exit already. So, tingnan mo. Tingnan mo yung nangyari sa price. Yun. Malaki yung pagkakaano. So, dito kasi, nag, mga short sellers na. Yung uh, pumasok. Kasi dahil itong Telray is, it's really looks like a bubble in the pot uh, market. And I mean, the stock market. So, napaka-trending nito last week. Yun, oh. So, when it goes down below that volume support, tingnan mo naman, gap down. And how much is that? How much percent gap down? That is an amazing negative 23.7%. So, this was a very volatile market. This is, I think, one of the most volatile uh, stop na net trade trade ko in the past. Alright, so, Anthony, if you have... Any further questions and uh, just don't hesitate to write me a message. I will send this recording to you once I am already ready for uploading. Alright, so guys, sa mga nakikinig pa rin ngayon sa aking audio broadcast, ay uh, katatapos ko lang ng aking uh, recorded session for my another student na isang Pinoy na nasa Luzon. Dapat sana online session kami ngayon pero medyo nakatira siya ngayon sa Luzon na uh, apektado ng bagyong ano umpong eh nagkaroon ng brown out. So sabi ko ay uh, i-record ko na lang to at isi-send ko sa kanya yung link how to download. So ngayong mga nakinig naman dito ngayon na hindi nakakakita ng screen during this uh, recording, you can avail this uh, recorded video complete the uh, video of my uh, session and watch it in your laptop in your mobile phone or in your tablet and it's a very very special strategy na tinalakay ko dito kasi napakadali lang siya napakadali lang niya at talagang this is uh, naked chart trading so this is momentum trading naked chart at hindi masyadong in, maraming indicator yung ginagamit ko dito in fact I was only using uh, uh, moving average then uh, OBB so yun lang walang mga Elliott wave or mga pattern but pattern hindi ko masyadong pinapakomplikado yung uh, trading ko kasi in this way uh, much simpler sa maintindihan then kung price action naman yung uh, uh, sa price action na uh, pag-analyze natin ay madali nating uh, na-analyze kung saan ba papunta yung price. Ano nga ba yung gusto niyang direction na puntahan? Is it going up or going down? So, yun naman talaga yung gusto natin, di ba? At uh, ang isa pa dyan is that uh, we want also to know that ano nga ba yung uh, nagdo-dominate yung mga buyers mo or sellers. So, in that case, we need to see the volume. We also need to be good in analyzing volume. So, yung mga volume chart at yung OBB yun ang mga ginagamit ko to, to understand the volume. Kasi, I always think that uh, trading is about tug of war. So, meaning that uh, if the other side is much more powerful, much more, uh, num more number of people pulling on the right side, then uh, they will win. Those people who are pulling at the left side will just, uh, you know, uh, drop down on their, or on their knees. And the other way around will happen if the left side is more dominant than the right side. So, trading is a tug of war. I believe on that. So, and it's about matter about 
volume and the price. Alright, so for those people, mga kababayan natin na gustong matulungan ko or magpatulong, uh, you can avail this uh, recorded video of mine. Just write me a message and I can send to you the details how you can avail it. And for those naman na gustong magpa-online session, na mga one-on-one -on -one session with me, then just let me know para maset natin yung schedule. Kasi may mga students din ako, so it's better to book in advance para makapag-set tayo ng uh, schedule. Usually, I'm doing my mentorship, one-on-one -on -one mentorship via online. I'm doing it via Skype or Google Hangouts na nakakapag-share ako ng screen. As long as you have a very good internet connection, wherever you are in this world, basta may connection ka sa internet, we, it's possible to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me. So, for those who want to book me a session, uh, just write me a message also. And for those naman na gusto lang na makasunod na mga recommended stocks na uh, magandang i-trade in the follow in the next week, on the other week, for many types of trading or investing, it can be, I am recommending stocks which are good for swing trade, momentum trade, uh, position trading, mid-term investing, and long-term investing. Name it. So, I have them all. So, and uh, makikita nyo naman sa page ko, mayroon ako ditong album in my Facebook page about uh, my testimonials about uh, many students who were uh, very happy about my recommended stocks na talagang uh, uh, naka-profit sila with a significant amount of profits. Pakicheck na lang kung gusto nyo makita yon or else let me know if I need to send it to you. Alright, so thank you very much sa mga walang sawang sumusubaybay sa aking uh, programang Usapang Trader. And then uh, meet you again uh, in my next episode. This is your stock mentor Neil saying to you a hub and uh, uh, saying to you a very very nice weekend. I am now signing off. Bye.